Hello, this is Lori Michelle, the Mashiach with current events. On the path that world Jewry is on, anti-Semites have much to celebrate. We're giving them exactly what they want. The destruction of the Jewish people. But gratefully, it won't happen because if you look at history, the Jewish people shouldn't even be here anymore. It's mind boggling. Mark Twain wrote about it, I read years ago, that it's astonishing. All these empires have come and gone and the Jewish people are still here, but not because of their collective choices, mind you. Left up to themselves, we should have been gone ages ago. And it gets to a point in history like it is right now where anti-Semites look like they're winning and we're giving them the big win. We're giving them the big win. So I'm going to point to an article that I saw online, current event, and explain to you how ridiculous world Jewry is right now. With the exception, I'm gonna, I was gonna say with the exception of a few, Hashem says you're being ridiculous too. Every Jew is being ridiculous right now, but a minority have a clue and I'll get to it. Let's share the screen. I hope I get through this one quickly. He said, don't worry. I hope you're listening. This is very important. If you're not Jewish, this is very important to humanity. So keep listening. This is from the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. And I saw this online. Jewish groups, including reform and reconstructionist movements, decry Congress Torah Values Caucus as misguided. Before I even get into the article and read three paragraphs from it. The fact that Congress has established a Torah Values Caucus is so exciting to the Messiah and Hashem. This is the way we are going to bring forward world redemption and peace on earth through an eternity. I'm going to read a little more and then we'll talk about it. January 26th, this was. And here they are, a photo of some congressmen and a rabbi, an Orthodox rabbi from Canada. The inauguration of the Congressional Caucus for the Advancement of Torah Values was attended by Reps Kat uh, Kamak, I might say her name wrong, Republican, Don Bacon, Republican, Rabbi David Hofstedler from Canada, Henry Queller, a Democrat from Texas, so this is bipartisan, Dan Muser, Republican, Brian Fitzpatrick, Republican, in Washington, D.C. Shiach says, bravo, bravo, rabbi. Very good. Let's read on. An array of liberal-leaning Jewish groups, including bodies of the reform and reconstructionist movements, have told two non-Jewish congressmen who launched a Torah Values Caucus that their efforts are misguided. Before I read the next couple of paragraphs, which Hashem, God, the King of the Universe, asked me to read, this is a case of the kettle calling the pot black. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know those expressions, but misguided, misguided, 
reform Judaism, reconstructionist movement? What are you reconstructing, might I ask? The Torah doesn't need any reconstructing. I could go on forever. Anyway, I won't. While we appreciate your stated desire to fight anti-Semitism, this caucus is a misguided effort. I, I need a vomit bag, people. Said the letter sent Wednesday to Reps Don Bacon, a Nebraska Republican, and Henry Queller, a Texas Democrat, who last week founded the Congressional Caucus for the Advancement of Torah Values, exactly how we are going to heal the world, people. Bravo, my goyim brethren, bravo. And Rabbi, a caucus in Congress should not take on itself defining what constitutes Torah values in order to pursue a particular political agenda, said the letter initiated by Americans for Peace Now and signed by, among others, the Reform Movement's Religious Action Center and Reconstructionist Rabbinical Association. They're not rabbis. I'm telling you, what, what I know, and I'm telling you, which lots of people are starting to get a clue that I'm Mashiach talking to Hashem, Hashem agrees. They're not rabbis. You cannot be a reconstructionist or reform Jew and be a rabbi. He just said, correct. J Street, self-hating Jews, an anti-Israel organization, and Aleph, Alliance for Jewish Renewal. What the heck is that? I didn't even look them up. But I read further, you can look up this article, and I'll read this one sentence. He said, yes. The caucus said it would also dedicate itself to combating anti-Israel bigotry. None, of the 37 Jewish members of Congress appear to be involved with this caucus. Why? Uh, it went on later. I just wanted to say that also signing this letter was a group called, where are they, Hashem? Partners for Progressive Israel. If you're progressive, you're anti-Torah. You can't be pro-Torah values and be a progressive. I'm going to stop share. I'm shaking. I'm so upset. <laughs> How can I say such a thing? Am I a bigot? No, I'm the Mashiach. I'm not anti-Goyim Christians. I'm not anti-Muslim. I'm not anti LGBTQ. I'm not anti anything or anyone. I'm anti evil. And Torah was given to Moshe Rabbeinu to teach the children of Israel so that they could live through Torah values and commandments and be a light unto the nations and spread God's glory all over the world. And everybody was to look upon the Jewish children and say, I want to be like that. I want to be like them. God favors the Jewish people. And look how they live. And look how glorious their life is. And so now we have anti-Semitism all over the world and countries wanting to annihilate Israel. Well, I would say reform Judaism, reconstructionist Judaism, whatever that is, progressive, progressives for Israel, you are all anti-Israel and anti-Semitic because you're anti 
God, God's Torah. You don't know what misguided is because everything you espouse, everything you do is anti-Torah, truly. Look at the reform movement. The reform Jewish movement is the scourge of Judaism. It's worse than any other anti-Semitic organization on the face of the earth. You're trying so hard to be part of the party that you've left God's Torah, his way of life. And I was raised that way. How do I know? I was raised that way, people. Secular, reformed Judaism. I was raised on veal parmesan, shrimp. God has 10 commandments, I think. Really? I didn't know what God's commandments was growing up. I didn't know there were 613. I never read the Torah. If you go into a reform synagogue, it's all in English and it's all paraphrased and it's different than his Torah. It's not the same. So if a group of Christians are in earnest trying to help Israel and the Jewish people combat anti-Semitism, and they're embracing God's laws, God bless you. God bless you. And the rabbi, Rabbi David Hofstadler, who formed an organization called Dershu, I looked him up, an Orthodox Jewish rabbi, and the organization is built and determined to strengthen the study of Torah all over the world. That's what we need to do. That's God's plan for world redemption, people. If Jewish people aren't following Torah and living Torah values the way he gave them to us, not the way you're reconstructing them or reforming them, it's the end of the Jewish people, which he will not allow. And it's the end of humanity. So how do you combat anti-Semitism? You espouse to understand who the Jewish people really are, where those laws came from, Torah laws, and embrace them and teach them all over the world. You're all Meshuggana. I'm not anti anyone. I'm not anti reform Jew. I'm anti reform Judaism. Ugh. I talk about it in the Torah part two. Hashem gave the Torah to Moshe Rabbeinu and he taught the Jewish children Torah. And this is the Torah Hashem says we need now. We need to come together under the umbrella of love, running on love, and learn Torah. And the rabbis, he says you'll be on board. We're really losing the battle now. But Hashem says we're going to win this war, and there will be world peace for eternity. And he says he's going to show me. I don't believe it till he shows me, but I believe it from him. I want to believe it from you. At some point in your journey, if you're a reform or reconstructionist Jew, or that's what you think you are, you're not that. You need to wake up, <laughs> get to Chabad, put on some tefillin, not if you're female. And females, there are no women rabbis. But there's a woman Messiah. <laughs> I know you don't believe me yet, but a bunch of you do. God bless you. And God bless the congressmen who are espousing to promote Torah values, because that will heal the world. God bless you. Sending everyone my love. God bless you.